by you guys. So let's get into this dream. The well, I had um two dreams last night that God is calling me to release to you guys. So first things first, please be sure to take every single dream to our Heavenly Father first before assuming that it is about you. Um, yeah, you really have to pray to him about it. Um, I am not in any shape, form, or fashion. Like, I don't know your story. I don't know everything about you. So I can't really um, answer certain questions. You have to get those answers from God. God is using me as a vessel and he is speaking through me. So with that being said, in this dream, I am hanging out with two longtime friends. Like these are people that, um, two girls that I grew up with. One of them I grew up with and um, the other one, I think I went to school with her. And they were just being so mean and nasty to me. And um, we were in a car and they just like, how do you explain? It's like they kept on throwing little slugs. They kept on trying to cut their eyes at me. They kept on trying to say little smart comments. And I was just like, why are y'all asking? Like I get out the car and I'm like, you know, I was like, no, stop the car, stop the car, stop the car, okay? Um, and I got out the car and I said, they were like, um, trying to get me to get back in. And I said, why are y'all acting like that? And then they continued to act that way. But, um, they started to say it in a smart way, basically gaslighting. Okay. What narcissists do when they are trying to, um, make you feel less than or when you point out what they are doing to you and they try to say um turn it around and act as if you have no reason to be behaving that way or acting that way so i end up going inside of a house and i see these really huge cd cases everywhere and the reason I say really huge, it was just so strange, okay? Because there were CDs all over the house. Most of them duplicates. Um, it was like multiple CDs. And they were like, you know how a normal CD, I don't even, I'm looking around like I got a CD in here, girl, okay? We don't. But <laughs> instead of being like how a normal CD is probably like that big, if that's a good description, it was like that big. You can't even see my hands, but like bigger than the screen big so i'm gonna pause right here and add i feel like the cds were meaning that i was facing the music of realizing that um she had been the one um my mother was the one who was going behind my back and telling people making up stories and trying to turn everyone that was in my life against me and um, I had to face the music that she was being two-faced to me. And it literally broke. It's literally something that could break your heart. Something that, you know, nobody wants to say that someone that close to them, especially a parent, someone that's supposed to love you and nourish you and ensure that everything going on in your life is good someone that's supposed to want to see you doing good is going behind your back and trying to turn any and everybody they can against you for whatever reason is very spiteful you know this is even something so hateful for a friend to do this is something that hurts even when it's just an associate or you know somebody that you don't even know starts turning people against you let alone someone like your mom. So it was just, I feel like me having to face the music of that. And I was like, where in the world did all these CDs come from and what are they? So I grab what I get as I'm getting ready to leave. And um, my mom is asking questions like, She's asking me like she's concerned, but I can tell the only reason she's asking these questions and she's acting concerned is because she had went behind my back and did some kind of meddling to make 
people start acting a certain way towards me. Like she was, see, and I can't say gossiping because she wasn't telling the truth. So she has been going, she was going behind my back, telling lies to people to make me seem to be a certain way that I wasn't. Or she would make things up to make it seem as though I was talking about people that I wasn't talking about. Um, almost like she was making it seem like every time I went somewhere or spent time with someone or talked to someone, I would come home and tell her all the details when in reality, I would probably go home, go in my room and close the door. And um, I tell her that I know it's her and that there's no way that the two girls that um, I was hanging with went from sweet and kind to vicious and nasty out of nowhere and she begins to deny it and say that it's no way she has anything to do with that and she would never do that and why would I ever think that she would do that and I end up leaving in disbelief and she asks where I'm going and I tell her that I'm not telling her and that's the end of the the end of the dream um one thing that I wrote down that pointed out to me um, these CDs, one of them, a few bunch of them were Harley Quinn. I don't know why Harley Quinn was on there, but Harley Quinn was on the CD. Oh, God is telling me for Two-Face. Like, um, like she was being Two-Face to me. In my face, she was acting as if she was helping me and she was caring and she was um, wanting me to be happy. But behind my back, she was stabbing me in my back spreading rumors about me well not rumors making things up about me okay lying about me and basically trying to tear apart every single relationship that i built and yeah that's the dream y'all heavenly father please give me a scripture to go with this dream the scripture god gives me comes from isaiah 45 and 18 for thus says the Lord, the creator of the heavens, who is God, the designer and maker of the, of the earth, who established it, not creating it to be a waste, but designing it to be lived in. I am the Lord, and there is no other. I have not spoken from hiding, nor from the some dark place of the earth. And I have not said to the descendants of Jacob, look for me in an empty waste. I, the Lord, promise justice. I foretell what is right. That was good. That was a good scripture to go with this dream. So y'all, I feel like with this dream and with this scripture, God is saying, no matter who lied on you, who has been trying to tear you apart, trying to ruin your relationship. And this is something that narcissists or the Jezebel spirit will do. They will go forth and try to destroy every single thing that you have built up because we already know the enemy comes to kill steal and destroy and in this dream she had destroyed and killed and stolen relationship of uh, two relationships from me that meant a lot to me she deliberately told these women that um i behaved a certain way or i did something whatever and it was a lie and she made them start behaving a certain way towards me that I did not deserve for them to be acting like that towards me. I had done nothing wrong. I had treated no one any kind of way, but she put forth the effort to try to destroy everything I had going on. And I feel like she was using the fact that I'm her mom. I'm her mom. I don't have any vengeance towards I'm not trying to be nasty and I'm not but that's a lie because whose mom is going to go around trying to give people information talking about well I'm just trying to look out for you you should be looking out for your child right so in this situation she was obviously being kind of like Harley Quinn how Harley Quinn will go before the Joker with her big smile acting like she's there to save the day but in reality, she is there to allow the Joker to come in and destroy everything. So that's how she was for me. It's like she was acting like she was there to save the day, trying to be sweet. What happened? 
oh i'm so sorry that happened but in reality on the inside she's laughing because she's the one that did it and she was the one that caused all of this um to happen and i had got to a place where god was revealing to me that it was her that was behind it and um I feel like just how the Joker never gets away with anything, justice will be served. That's exactly what it says in the scripture. God did not make this world for anyone to feel as though they are trapped or they have to hide or they have they don't have anyone and they're alone all the time. God did not make this big, beautiful world for anyone to feel as though there is someone just deliberately trying to crush any and everything that they do. God did not make this world for that. God will bring forth whatever is done in the dark to the light. Those who speak against you, those who curse you, those that crucify you without cause, it will be brought to the light, says the Lord. It does not matter how hard they try to hide it, how much effort they put into hiding it. Anything that they do will be brought to the light, regardless of how they feel about it. If they want it to happen, they can shred all the evidence, use white out, delete the emails, delete the text messages. Everything done in the dark will come to the light and the truth will be revealed. Whew. All right, y'all. So I low key just finished the video, but God wants me to add something else. Sometimes God will allow this kind of person to wreak havoc in your life because he himself wants those relationships to end. And if God is moving you away from um, people, if God is moving you to a different location, sometimes our um, mission in life is not how do I say it? Our promise is not in the location where we were born. It's somewhere else. And when you are um, a person whose promise is actually somewhere else besides the place where you were born, the place where you were raised, God will allow you to feel like a black sheep or a misfit or like you don't belong. God will allow these type of hateful people to wreak havoc in your life. God will harden the hearts of those people around you so that they don't come to you and tell you what's really going on um because that's one thing that i found odd because i feel like both of these friends they have been through things with their mothers so i would i couldn't understand why they would just take what she said and run with it except for the fact that god has hardened hardened their hearts for me so that I will be pushed even more so to move, okay? I will be pushed even more so to leave because honestly, if everybody loves you, everybody's hanging around you, all your relationships are good, you're not going to leave, okay? And I think somebody said that, um, I know the comments going to go off about this, but in a Harry Potter movie, okay, I was watching someone do a review over it and he was like the reviewer i forgot who said this he was like um you know your life is bad if a stranger comes in the middle of the night telling you they're taking you away to some strange weird place you never heard of and you're like you know what i'm gonna go i'm gonna go <laughs> you know it's i feel like that's what god is saying like he is putting you in a position to where it's just like you're like you know what Y'all obviously don't want me here, okay? Y'all clearly, clearly, y'all don't want me here. Because if y'all wanted me here, y'all wouldn't treat me like this here. So I'm going to move around. Almost how I feel like this woman was being in my dream. It's like, she didn't want me there. She didn't want me to, my, me to go off and be with my friends so she could be alone. But she didn't want me there. And it just didn't make any sense. And God allows people to do this kind of craziness because he wants to move you. He wants to move you. And if you are too comfortable, you're not going to leave. And that's the truth. That is the truth. That is the truth. When I moved, I was just like, I have had enough of this place. It's like every single time I have decided to move out of Houston, I felt like 
relationships were falling apart the our job may have fell apart just everything just crazy and i was ready for a new place i was ready to try something else out and i feel like if i was just completely comfortable getting along with everybody at times like that when i was just happy me and all my friends were getting along okay i had my little clique okay we was cute we had all the little spots i had all the, i knew all the bars and all that kind of stuff i wasn't worried about moving okay girl no i was happy i was content okay <laughs> i was content with my little life but when you get to a place where you feel like you don't have any friends you don't really hang out with your family um a lot of people that are around you kind of kind of are treating you as though you can't tell if they like you or not it makes you feel like okay i don't belong here so i need to figure out where i belong and that's how i feel that's what i feel like god is trying to get me to like this world is so huge it's so much to see it's so much to do he wants his children all over he wants his children everywhere and you know eventually he is going to get all of his hebrew children his um, the children of Israel are going to end up back together somehow, some way. And we're all moving. And I feel like we're going to keep moving until we just, bam, end up in the same place. So, yeah, I'm going to insert that in somewhere. Heavenly Father, thank you for this dream. Thank you for this word. Lord, I pray that whomever it is for that it will get to them, Lord. I pray with all my heart and soul that whomever this person is in their life, trying to crush them, trying to undermine them, and trying to mistreat them, Lord, that you will put your hand down on that person. Lord, I pray that you will reveal whatever it is that they are doing, whatever it is they are doing to try to ruin this person's reputation, uh, trying to pull down their relationships, trying to tear everything apart, Lord. I pray that you will turn it around to work in that person's favor, Lord. I pray with all my heart and soul in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. And I plead the blood of Jesus over this person. I pray that you will have their heart in your hands so that the hurt that this person is trying to cause them will not come to pass. In Jesus' name, I pray that you will send forth relationships that can't be broken, people that can't be lied to people that love them so much that they would take out the time effort and energy to ask them if what was said was true first before taking action and being nasty to them in jesus name i pray amen thank you guys for watching please be sure to like share and subscribe